Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is James, and I constantly still get asked the question, how did I join Optic Gaming? For those who do not know what Optic Gaming is, it's a giant sniping clan, and uh, you know, it used to be the biggest and most subscribed sniping clan on YouTube until FaZe passed them up, but Optic was a huge accomplishment for me, and I went from actually never being on a team before to being an Optic, and I still get asked the question. I want to answer this for all you that are just wanting to know what it is and you know how exactly I got into Optic. For those of you who are trying to get into Optic or Phase yourselves, give you just a little bit of tips and tell you guys my story and what exactly I did. Now, with that being said, um, this was a while ago. I actually ended up no longer being a part of Optic around this time last year. I joined in like November or September, maybe even August 2011. It was a little earlier in there. It, to put this in perspective, how long ago I actually joined Optic. It was back when YouTube had the old layout where you could move the boxes around and back when Optic had more subscribers than FaZe and now we know as of this point in time FaZe has almost 2 million subscribers and Optic I think has 7 or 800,000. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong but with that being said uh, just get that all out of the way. I think it was like the summer of 2011. I was in a game in Call of Duty 4 with Optic J and Fwiz and my friends were freaking out. I had no clue what they were. I had no clue about Call of Duty on YouTube. And that's kind of actually how I got started into YouTube, but um, everyone was freaking out, and I had no clue who they were, and I actually ended up Googling them later and realizing they were part of Optic, and I thought this was the best team ever. I thought Optic, you know, I looked up to Optic, I admired Optic, and I actually changed my gamer tag to Optic James G. And um, everyone was, you know, hating on me, saying, oh, you know, you're fake, you're fake. I had no clue about any of this. I had no clue that I was, like, quote-unquote fanboy or anything like that. But I ended up changing my gamer tag back to James Geary if I knew I wanted to get into Optic. And towards the end of the summer, I actually got into contact with people from Optic by doing a little bit of graphic design work. And I, I think Folsom, Optic Folsom, back when he was in Optic, I think he's in Dare now. But um, he tweeted on Twitter saying that he needs a new background for his channel. He needed a new background for his channel, that is. And I was like freaking out. And I actually tweeted back and said, sure, man, I'd be happy to do that for you. And he added me on Skype and we talked for a while. and ended up becoming pretty good friends with him. I mean... I don't know if he thought we were friends, but I mean, it was just amazing. I was freaking out the whole time. I was like, holy crap. This was, you know, I'm in contact with someone who's actually in Optic. And I think that was truly, you know, the base point of where I started to get in contact with people from Optic. And once I got in contact with Folsom, I felt like, you know, maybe I could get in contact with other people in Optic. I mean, who knows? And later on, I actually ended up getting in contact with Optic Midnight, who, you know, I talked to her for a while, and, you know, we had some good conversations, not gonna lie. I don't talk to her anymore, which is kind of sad. We kind of lost contact. I don't know. We just kind of lost contact over time. I lost contact with a lot of people in Optic that I was friends with, but um, a lot of, there's a lot of new people, a lot of the people that I was in Optic with left. And for those who are wondering, I actually am in some Optic Team Tajas. I'll link the Team Tajas down in the description. And uh, you can try and spot me. I am Optic James. It's not too hard to find. I mean, I keep my name as James everywhere I go for some reason. I just like to use my first name. It's pretty descriptive, I guess you can say. But with that being said, uh, you know, I got in contact with Optic Midnight, and she really enjoyed everything that I was doing for her. I was helping out with graphic design and stuff. And one day, she pasted a conversation in um, in our Skype conversation that was saying Hex was looking for some graphic design for Optic Nation. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to do this. And then she told me the information. I'm like, no, no, just have him add my Skype. And sure enough, Hex added my Skype. I took a picture of it on my phone. I'll try and find it. I was freaking out. This is like two years ago. But I, I was freaking out. I took a picture and put it, you know, I, I'll try and find the photo. I don't know where it is right now. It's probably lost. But I took a photo and was freaking out. And I ended up talking to Hex for a while. And I kind of hinted. I was like, you know, dude. If you do, I've been working really hard for Optic, and, you know, I know I'm not getting anything in return, but, you know, a spot on the team would be great. I kind of pushed it, and I didn't want to push it in his face too much, but I wanted to let him know that I was definitely interested in joining Optic, and, uh, you know, after a while, we talked for a while, I got everything he needed. He really enjoyed everything that I was doing, and um, I thought that was really good. It always is good to try and be friends and try and be, you know, ha be on good terms with everybody, as many people as you can, especially when you're trying to get something accomplished. I mean, you know, you end up being great friends with other people, and it's always nice to not have people, not, you know, dislike you, but it's always great to be on other good terms with people. All you gotta do by doing that is be nice and respectful, and you'll simply be on good terms with other people unless someone's just a complete butthole or something, but, I mean, with that being said, uh, eventually, a few weeks later, I got a Skype request from Optic Paul, and he said, James, we're interested in you joining the organization, and I was freaking out. I wasn't even home, I was at like my grandma's house or something, and uh, she's just looking at me and I'm just like, oh my god, I just joined Optic, and it was, I was, you know, having, in the matter of six months going from never just being this complete, you know, I had no clue what's going on, I, you know, had no clue who anyone in Optic was, I had Optic in my gamer tag, and everyone was calling me a fanboy, and I was saying I was fake, and was never going to get into Optic, to actually being in Optic, being added to the Skype team chat, 
was just truly amazing. I mean, I was so psyched and I was so excited to first join Optic. And I mean, after a while I started to, you know, I mean, I think after a while we just have to take things for granted. And I think that's what really happened. And, uh, but I was just so excited to join Optic and I was truly, you know, it was a truly huge accomplishment for me. And that's pretty much how I joined for the people that are asking and wondering how I joined. And um, this video, if you enjoyed this and you want to see another video on how I joined Team Envious, which is what I joined right after Optic, uh, make sure to leave a comment down below saying, I want to see how you joined Team Envious, something along those sorts. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like. And if you didn't, that's all right too. Just trying to help out. I want to make a casual commentary to answer this question that is constantly asked to me. And like I said, if you want to see how I joined Team Envious, just tell me down below in the comments and I'll definitely try and make one of those. Uh, also, if you're new around here, please subscribe. I'm trying for 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That's about it, everyone, and have a great day. I lose, yeah.